going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy, Fuzzy Little Man Peach. And I am back today with another reaction video. Got another first on the channel. I don't believe I've ever heard a song by My Chemical Romance. Well, that's impossible. Can you check again, please? Mm, check again, please. Maybe I have just like in passing or hearing on the radio or a mo movie or some shit, but I could not name a fucking song. So today we're gonna be checking out this song called Mavaleka. Welcome to the Black Parade. Okay, My Chemical Romance. So many suggestions coming from you guys asking me to react to this song. So I'm gonna right my wrong today. I'm finally gonna do it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. And let's get it, man. Let's see what My Chemical Romance is all about. Definitely heard the name. It like rings a shit ton of bells, but let's see. Let's see what this fucking band can do, lads! Let's see what this fucking band can do, lads! When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, your demons?
Y'all see? <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Oh my god. Jesus. This was a fucking anthem, dude. It wasn't even a song, it was literally an anthem. Now, the song was fucking beautiful, dude. Starting from the beginning of the lyrical content, whenever it sounds like it was a patient dying, and you know, whenever you're about to die, supposedly your life flashes before your eyes, all these beautiful memories start coming to fruition. And it sounds like this guy's favorite memories whenever his father took him to a parade, right? So I feel like this whole song was extremely laced with Christian beliefs and Christian symbolism, you know? The speaker's father essentially drawing a parallel to God himself. I think that that was a correlation that a lot of people may not have caught. All in all, God is showing the patient the afterlife, showing him that you will walk with me in heaven if you use your music and use your life to better the lives of the unfortunate, to better the lives of the broken and the damned. You can do this, you can make a positive change. I feel like it has immense amount of Christian belief and values in this song, and it was fucking awesome, dude. It was powerful, it was emotional, it was heavy. Like I said, it was a goddamn anthem. Poor choice of words for the symbolic meaning of the song. Nonetheless, you get my point. You know, the chorus is interesting, could have a double meaning, you know, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. When someone dies, essentially that's what people do. We never forget, but we're able to carry on, to move on, to go on with our lives. So there's a couple of different meanings there. You know, Genius even says that alternatively, it could also mean that the patient will carry on his beliefs and in independence even after death. This relates back to the first line of the verse saying, do or die, you'll never make me. So, My Chemical Romance, a band that I definitely have to check out further and dive in them waters, motherfucker, like old Greg. What you doing in my waters? That being said, that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song. Let's keep this video in general. That is all I got for you today. So keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact. Oh yeah, love y'all so much. Peace. Hey, either way it goes, I was born to be a screw up. Do the wrong thing and I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, crew, got my back like pull up. Sipping on the liquor, but it goes straight through us. Squad full of killers and a swag like Jewish. You got a squad full of.